Hey my little truffles, how y'all doing? It's your favorite girl Kyla Black. Spotify just ranked artists at the end of the year and Nicki Minaj has 2.7 billion streams, 174.1 million listeners, 130.2 hours in 184 countries. Y'all, she's doing all of this and making all these waves without releasing any official album, no making beats. Can't wait to see the number she's gonna do when she actually releases Pink Friday 2. Rolling Stone on ranking Barbie, the album, amongst the best albums of 2023. They said a Barbie album without Nicki Minaj simply wouldn't make sense. And the Barbie world had track with Ice Spice effortlessly bring Aqua Classic Barbie Girl from the 90s to 2023. Congrats to Nicki. Y'all, everyone sees Nicki's potentials. Everyone sees how incredible Nicki is as a rapper, as an artist, and as a songwriter. Y'all better give the queen her flowers cause she deserves it. Please subscribe to my other channel, Gaia Likaka, in the description. Moving on to Queen B. Beyonce claims the year top grossing tour according to the figures reported by Billboard Box Score with a gross of 570 million, attendance of 2.7 million, and a number of shows of 55. Congrats to Queen Bee. No one does it better than her. Her tour performances are always outstanding and memorable. Moving on to Nicki Minaj, y'all, Nicki is on fire because she out here shading and dragging Floppy Bee and Megan, and I'm so loving this because she's making them look stupid and worthless than they already are. And I'm like, go girl. So Nikki tweeted this VR ex. She was like, wasted all that money. And guess what? They flopped, y'all. This is definitely subliminal shots at Floppy B and Megan. Because y'all know they invested tons of dollar bills to shoot the bongos video and not forgetting they paid for massive radio play and promo but y'all guess what bongos they flopped because at this point in time it's in the 90s of billboard hot 100 and it's predicted to be kicked off the charts next week the exact same way cobra by megan got kicked off the chart after charting for just two weeks in total and before y'all be like, Nikki's being shady, she ain't being shady, she's just being realistic and I'm so loving this because all y'all not paying attention to this. The only reason why Bongos is still on the charts is because Floppy B has been promoting it non-stop, coming up with crazy TikTok trends, which are some of the like, they're good, right, they're great, they're good, they're good. But it doesn't change the fact that if none of those TikTok trends, Bungos would have left the charts a long time ago. And I think it would have charted less time compared to Cobra. No shade, just stating the obvious. Hashtag the losing team. Megan and Floppy B are the losers and they don't plan on slowing down anytime soon. They're gonna keep losing while they got no potentials, they got no talent, they ain't versatile, like they are officially the queens and president of the untalented crew members. Do y'all agree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, and do not forget to turn on your notification buttons so that I don't miss out on all the tea I'll be dropping because trust me, baby, it's definitely gonna be juicy. Thank you.